Since the establishment of NPTH to date, NPTH, under very, very challenging in our circumstances, has so far paid dividends to the amount of 1.3 billion Namibia dollars. The other aspect that we also need to appreciate, and hopefully members of the media will not develop amnesia, <laughs> you'll be able to recall the developments, you know, <laughs> in as far as NPTH is concerned, is NPTH, through NPTH, by the way, the Namibian government was able to buy back the 34% of the shares in MTC that were owned by a foreign partner. NPTH was able to draw on its resources. Not a single cent or dollar came from Treasury. They were able to raise the money that was required out of their own resources. They drew on their reserves. And we had a shortfall of 450 million Namibia dollars, which we generated by getting a loan from Standard Bank Namibia. To date, NPTH has managed to pay that 450 million loan. And I think, you know, that being the case, really NPTH, from the board to the management, needs to be commended. And hopefully many state-owned enterprises will emulate the example that NPTH you know, has set. Because one of the reasons why government has set these state-owned enterprises is not for these SOEs to continue to come back to government and suck government of the much-needed resources that we need to channel through the social and many other economic sectors, not to suck this money so that this money is directed to sustain the activities of these enterprises. These enterprises are supposed to operate economically, be able to sustain their operations, and above all, be able to create value for the shareholder. And this is what NPTH has done over the years and continues to do up until you know this moment. You will also recall that in addition to that, NPTH has been fulfilling its corporate social responsibility. Not only to government, you know, as the shareholder. And you recall it was last year, I cannot remember the month, NPTH is one of those state-owned enterprises that again stands head and shoulders above any SOEs in this country that has contributed an amount of 60 million Namibia dollars towards the drought relief following the declaration of the emergency that was made by the president. This is money, really, that has been made available to assist government to mitigate the impact of one of the worst droughts that this country has seen in its history so far. In spite of that, you know, NPTH, together with its subsidiaries, 
today will be declaring a dividend, special dividend, part of that, an ordinary dividend, to the amount of half a billion Namibia dollars. And again, you can scan the landscape of SOEs that have also declared in our special dividends, and you realize that what NPTH is declaring today to its shareholder, who is the Namibian government, is once again miles above what has been declared by those SOEs that have declared in our dividends. You know, as a line minister, and I'm sure my colleague in public enterprises would say the same, this really confirms the reason why government created these entities so that we can derive maximum value from their operations. So we are happy, you know, this afternoon that as shareholder representatives between myself and public enterprises represented by my dear sister, Ms. Louisa Shuameni, we will be receiving the dividends from NPTH. Of course, it's not only NPTH, but also the subsidiaries, you know, of NPTH to the amount of half a billion Namibia dollars. And this amount, of course, as we are all aware, will be handed over to the Minister of Finance, to Treasury in particular, as time you know, goes on. So it's really a pleasure, and we appreciate you know, the hard work that the board and the management of NPTH has put in to ensure that these requisite you know, dividends are realized at the end of the day. And once again, we encourage all the other commercial, commercial, that's the emphasis, all the other commercial SOEs to emulate you know, this example. And thank those, together with N NPTH, who have declared special dividends to the government. Because that's the reason why they exist, and not to suck money from the government like a tick that sucks blood from its host. The Minister of Public Enterprises was created specifically by His Excellency the President to ensure that public enterprises in Namibia are strategically positioned to contribute to the economic development of this country. So I just want to re-emphasize what you have said, that uh, public enterprises in any economy are created either to stimulate the economy in, with different specific uh, sectors and also to contribute to the economic development of the country. And today is a testimony. When the state received 500 million Namibian dollar, it's a, state, a testimony that although there are public enterprises, especially those of commercial orientation, not doing very well, we have started doing the right thing. And uh, NPTH continues to be one of the shining examples. And we are very proud today to have received the dividend, which is duly due to us as a shareholder from a company we created to do so. And it's fulfilling its mandate. And we, I think, just urge all other public enterprises. The Minister of Public Enterprises um, is striving toward ensuring that uh, public enterprises uh, fulfill their mandate and especially that uh, they become more efficient and effective in providing uh, excellent service to the citizen while at the same time fulfilling their obligations to the shareholder. Thank you, Minister. You have it, eh? And we are all smiling, Madam <laughs> Get my hand and feel my oh, pulse. Yeah. Very, very happy indeed. <laughs> yeah. No, we are happy indeed. Very much indeed.